Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin, and today I wanna to give you guys a little update on my Ford Maverick truck. I've since added ditch lights to it, and I know there's gonna be a few Maverick owners that watch this video, and you're gonna be curious as to where I got the parts and how I did it. So it was actually really easy. These are the JJC light brackets. They're from Etsy. You can order them, they're about $35, which is about the going rate. If you had a Tacoma or a 4Runner or another vehicle, they're all about the same price. And it was really easy to install. It came with all the hardware, which really is basically just the bracket. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take this plastic little cover. You're just gonna peel it back. That comes off and it's gonna open up. And you can see on the inside of the hinge right here, there's a bolt. You undo the bolt, put the bracket in place, put the bolt back in and reapply this little plastic rubber cover. That is it to install the bracket. And of course the lights, I ended up going with aux beam. These are like $125. And they do a pretty good job. It comes with a couple lenses. It comes with a clear lens. It comes with this uh, amber yellow lens right here. And uh, that's pretty much all you really need to uh, install the lights. As far as wiring the lights up, I did not want to run any wires through the firewall into the cab, drill holes for switches, mount switches. So uh, I was talking to a couple of my friends and my friend Michael previously on another vehicle had a little wireless uh, wiring system if you will and they actually sell them at AutoZone. I'll put a link in the description if you want to order one They're about $55 and all it is is you have this little box right here and From this little box you have two wires that go to your battery and then all your accessories anything you want to wire in whether it be an air compressor or a water pump lights anything you wire straight to this box there's no messy wires, no running ground wires everywhere, no having a bunch of wires going to the positive side of your battery. You just run them to this box. And then on the inside of my truck, I have a little keychain or a uh, little remote right here. And there's little buttons on it. Now you can use a phone app, you can use your phone, but I kind of just wanted the little keychain. So this top button right here goes to these lights. So if I push this top button, Oops, I got it upside down, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I push the top button right here, it turns my lights on. Push it again, turns it off. And you can uh, have four accessories on this one. They do make uh, some other options that have more accessories, but I'm not gonna have a whole lot of stuff on this truck, so I just went with the little, little remote that has four options on it. And like I said, turn the lights on, turn them off. You do have a phone app, the phone app might be easier for some people, but, um, if I'm using my phone for maps and stuff like that, I didn't really want to be swiping through apps trying to turn lights on and off. And it's, this is pretty convenient. You can just either put it in your pocket if you're going to be outside the truck or like like a garage door remote. I just leave mine on the uh, visor of my truck. But that's really all it is. And it took me absolutely no time to wire these lights up. I actually impre impressed myself with how clean it was and uh, running the wires across to the lights and everything. This was just a quick little video. I'll put links to everything that I bought, which was just the lights that were about $125, the brackets, which were $35, and uh, the blazer little accessory switch right here, which is about 55, almost $60 at AutoZone. So I'll put links in the description for all you guys out there that want to add lights to your truck. And uh, thanks for watching. 